it seems like if I ask you some question, you get very angry and uh, you, you're rude. And I don't know what's happening. And he gets more agitated and gets more angry and starts throwing it back at me that, no, I am angry and I'm agitated and I'm rude. I'm just sitting there really chilled uh, in a patio. And uh, then all of a sudden he starts to blow up and, uh, and he starts to bang on the table in front of me and uh, I'm just waiting for him. Maybe he's going to strike me in my face. But I'm just sitting here, not reacting to any of it. And I'm just kind of looking at him. And he's yelling, starts yelling, getting angry, banging on the table, and getting close to me in a very aggressive way. But I'm not reacting. I'm not saying anything. I'm not arguing back with him or whatever. And, you know, it's kind of being insultive, like, or you only came here for yourself. I thought you came here for me, and you don't give a shit about me, and you just wanted to go somewhere and relax, and da 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 just like garbage is coming out of his mind. It's the mind is blowing up, and I'm just checking him out. And after he's done saying everything he says, and I'm just sitting there looking at him, and then I give him a smile, like, are you done? And then immediately he starts laughing, and, and he comes and high-fives me and gives me a hug. And then business as usual. He says, oh, you want me to make you some tea or you want, a, you want a juice or can I get you some water or you want something to eat? I said, yeah, why don't you give me a glass of water and come and sit down here. So we sit down and we start talking. And uh, we hang out together for an hour, an hour and a half. And, and I leave. Initially, when this happened, when he starts get blowing up and just getting rude and being insulting, my first reaction was to just tell him to fuck you, you know, or I don't appreciate or the way you're behaving. The, my first impulse is to get up and grab my things and walk away. But I didn't. I resisted my very first impulse. I just stayed there calm, quiet, collected in the center and I looked at him. And I didn't respond. I didn't react to it. And I've had this happen to me many times in my lives that this is what I'm speaking about being still. Stillness is not reacting. And this is a time in, in your spiritual development that unless you learn to be still, bringing your attention and reconnecting with your own core and practice it on a daily basis, if you don't master that, this thing which is happening will tear you, tear, uh, tear you apart because you will be involved with the world which is in flux. So this is stillness. Stay in your center and practice not reacting. And you will see how your life starts to change. Now, if anybody would like have any any questions, please uh, put it on the chat box. I unmuted everybody, and I took the option of you being able to unmute yourself because of this uh, fellow who was disrupting us. So, if you have any questions, feel free either wave at me or. Uh, just write on the chat box, you have a question, and I unmute you, and we can talk uh, with each other. I'll be happy to answer questions.
Oh, okay, question. Okay. Hi, Sharon. Let me... Okay. Um, did your friend later ap apologize or indicate self-awareness or why he acted as he had? He did apologize later. So... Um, and we're cool. Let's relax. I, I understand the nature of the mind. I understand what is happening in the world. Uh, the pressure, the anxiety, the, the, uh, all the stuff is happening that is being sent out. And as a result of that, people get out of character and they react the way they react. But I can't control other people, but I can be aware of myself. So, um, so basically, this is what you want to do. Forget about what's going on in the world. Is how you react to what's going on in the world. Because the world that you are in touch with is an animation. It's a representative of your inner world. What's happening inside you is being projected outside. So, basically, you're looking for peace, so you have to find that inside yourself first. If you're trying to find it anywhere else, you're wasting your time. Okay, so... All right. All right, Miss Hilda, you have a question for me? Yeah, it is from Helen, my neighbor. She's okay. Hi. Hi, Helen. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Uh, she is going to have a surgery next Wednesday because okay. she's got a breast tumor. Okay. So she just asked what she can do to calm down. She's a bit, little bit nervous, you know. I understand. Well, you have been with me many times, so um, keep meditating and just know one thing, the most important thing that we need to know, that th that which created this world, that which brought me and you to this world, that force, that intelligence that has created the platform for us to appear to this life is the one that is responsible for us. So just trust that. Trust God. Trust the self that you're going to be okay. It is natural that if you're going to go for a surgery for the nervous system, for the mind, to worry. And <laughs> The worry is about what's going to happen to me. Am I going to be alive? Is something going to happen to me? Am I going to die? Am I going to be... What's going to happen to me? That's the nature of the mind. Because the mind wants some assurance that it's going to be fine. So just trust that existence, God, spirit will take care of you. 